What's up, folks? It's your buddy Fatal Ruddy. Today we're going to be reviewing the movie Hurricane Heist. Oh my god. Well, let's just get the obvious out of the way. This movie is about a heist in a hurricane. Bruh. But that'll do it for this episode of Ruddy Reviews. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seriously, there are a lot of plot holes in this movie. There are a lot of scenes where I just flat out went, what the fuck? Now, I live in Florida, and I have been through some hurricanes, both here in Florida and further north when I lived in Maryland, although not as extreme. But it seems to me that Hollywood thinks that they're magical. In a hurricane, you got a lot of wind, a lot of rain, a lot of shit blowing around. And when you get to the eye of the hurricane... It's a lot calmer than the outer bands. In this movie, we got a lot of rain, a lot of wind, a lot of shit blowing around. And magically, when you get into the eye of the storm, the sun's out and everything that blew away is magically fixed. <laughs> okay, I'll buy it. There was a huge reveal in this movie, which was pretty much the only redeeming part of the movie. Now, I'll go ahead and address the elephant in the room. If you look at a hurricane cloud and you see a skull roaring at you, I think it's time for you to stop using the mind-altering pharmaceutical. <gasps> yes, there was a skull in the clouds roaring. And this is seen within like the first five minutes of the movie. And then it comes back at the end of the movie. This movie kind of takes place along the same lines as Twister. At the beginning part of the movie, you see the characters when they were younger. And then we fast forward into present time. And just like Twister, it just followed the same line there. But at least in Twister, we didn't see a skull in the tornado. There are many heist movies that I would recommend way before I'd tell you to go see this. It was an alright movie. I really wasn't too crazy about it, though. I went in wanting to like it, but I felt a little disappointed. I honestly would skip this one in the theaters and wait until it comes out on Netflix, and then just have at it and laugh your ass off at some of the shit that's going on. But that'll do it for this episode of Roadie Reviews. Leave a comment down below what you thought of this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. I've been Fatal Roadie. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, if it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.